show them what we're made of. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Two little Black Ops 4. And look at this. We got on grind. <laughs> so, uh, after my days of ripoffs event video, <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to try to get a, a match on grind. And I got one on my second game. So I decided, uh, let's record it. And let's see what happens. So, this is my only, my one and only game on grind. So, I think it was pretty good. I think I ended up in first place. But, uh, yeah, this map brought back a lot of, a lot of old good feelings. Especially, uh, you know, because we haven't seen it since Black Ops 2. And they played a lot of that game. And this, this map was, uh, was definitely one of the best. I know, uh, I know Thunder loves this map. He thinks it's probably one of the best DLC maps ever. And, uh, I would agree that it's a very good map. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't really remember a lot of the DLC maps. Um, back in the day, on, you know, most Call of Duties, the good maps were shipped with the game. And then, uh, most of the DLC maps were, meh, you know, maybe if you got four out of the map pack, one was pretty good, and the rest were kind of forgettable. Uh, I know definitely in in Black Ops 2, that game had a lot of good shift maps. You know, you had Raid, you had uh, Standoff, uh, Nuketown was pretty fun on that in that game. What else do you have? Uh, I don't even remember the names of those maps, but <laughs> but I do know that that Black Ops 2 had really good maps. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 had really good shift maps. MW2, like Black Ops 1. You know, a lot of the maps that we see uh, recycled are a lot of the Black Ops 1 maps. So, but I kind of like that they they kept this map the same you know I, I, I know like a lot of people like to see like reimagined maps but I don't I think this kind of went with the you know with the days of summer theme so I, I think it was a good choice to kind of bring it back the way it was and it was free it was free for everybody so I'm not gonna give uh, Treyarch or Activision crap for that uh, that's pretty cool that, that they did that I just uh oh, man I I just wish they would learn from, you know, from their past mistakes with the, with the supply drops and the, the weapons being in the supply drops, you know, in the, uh, in the reserves, and you only get one item out of those, and you can get duplicates. Like I know I, I talked about it a little bit on the uh, days of my days of summer video, and uh, I watched a couple of videos from, I think it was. Uh, I watched one from Exclusive Ace. I watched one from Drifter. Uh, Prestigious Key. And of course, Thunder. But Prestigious Key, if you didn't... I'll leave his video in the Throwing description. If you didn't check that out yet. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he had some choice Fire words perfect. for Activision and Treyarch about uh, how they handled this. Yeah, I mean... And he was right. Basically, it's... And when this game first came out, people were pretty upset about the way things were going. And then they kind of fixed it, from what I could tell. I, like, I, I once, I know I've mentioned it before, but once I saw they were selling a basic red dot sight. Like, a, not even like something special, it was just a red dot for $2. I basically turned off my, because I was playing on a PC at the time. I went to battle.net and I un uninstalled Black Ops 4 and I haven't played it on PC since and this is uh, the first time I've played it on PS4 in months as you can tell I'm only like level 11 or 12 so you know I pretty much boycotted this game because I had enough 
but I know since then, I've heard it's gotten a little bit better. You know, with their supply drops and stuff like that. And then they go right back to this again. You know, with the days of summer. Like, what are you doing? Like, it has to be. It has to be Activision is trying to milk any kind of money that they can out of this game and out of this franchise. Which makes me a little nervous for Modern Warfare. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep my hopes up because both Infinite Warfare um, and the past Infinity War games were a little less. They were monetized a little bit better than the Black Ops series. You know, it definitely started. Black Ops 3 probably had the worst supply drop system and like earning reward system in any Call of Duty. I, I think it's probably even worse than Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 is following right, right in those footsteps. And I know, you know, it's been mentioned it's because Treyarch Call of Duties are, you know, the Black Ops series in general is one of the most popular. So I think Activision can think that they can get away with, you know, just murdering the game <laughs> and just not caring about the community and how the community feels, which sucks because it's it's not a bad game. It really isn't a bad game. Uh, that you know, I think the time to kill is a little too high. I think they could have maybe turn that down to like health like 125 because you know with the, with the body armor and the uh, what's that character that can do the health boosts I forget his name but anyway it, it just makes the fights unpredictable you don't know going in and out of each fight you just don't know what you're gonna get you can come across a guy with body armor and yeah you can put the uh, the armor piercing rounds on there but you know that kind of takes up a slot for something else but I don't know I was definitely a fan of this game when it first came out, and it's unfortunate that uh, I'm not playing it. And yeah, I definitely could play it, but I'm trying to stand my ground and uh, just say, uh, yeah, no, no thanks. So after this gameplay, I, I got this gameplay on Grind, I went back to Infinite Warfare, and that's probably where, where I'll stay until uh, Modern Warfare comes out. I definitely want to hit Master of Prestige in that game. That's a, uh, a goal of mine. And and just let me know if you guys want to see a sprinkled in Black Ops 4 gameplay once in a while or Modern Warfare Remastered or if you're fine with Infinite Warfare. I'm down with any of those. I can cycle in different games once in a while. But that's pretty much going to do it for me. And man, these <laughs> these load screens in Black Ops 4, I don't, I don't miss these. In the... <laughs> I know, like in Infinite Warfare, you get in and out of games pretty quickly. You can bang out like five to six games in about 20 minutes, <laughs> it seems like. So, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you think about uh, your thoughts on Black Ops 4. Later.